What a coach does, he's supposed to teach a player something. What a parent does, he's supposed to teach their kids something. What a lot of times happens is kids or players, if you learn to listen and listen, learn to teach you something. Senior day for Derek Nix is going to be quite an excursion for all of us. Uh, I think his mom, for Derek, for me and my staff, and hopefully all our fans. If you really do, do believe in the student athlete and uh, in growth of an individual, you'd have to love Derek. Um, he's come a long way. And to his own admission, you know, had a lot of growth to do when he got here, both academically, socially, and athletically. Trying to set Nix up, now he has it down low. He's being guarded by Sims. He's backing him in. Here we go. Shots away. Good. Wow, the freshman got the senior. He's got a lot, a lot more mature. And, uh, being able to look at stuff from a different standpoint, uh, he's taking advantage of, of my opportunities. I mean, I've seen a big change from him just, just in two years, just from, from him last year to this year. He's matured. and. And you can see how he, he's a much better leader now than he was last year. He's mature each and every year, you know, not only as a basketball player, but as a person as well, you know. And, you know, it's great to see individuals, individual growth year by year, you know, right before your eyes. Oh, just maturing in uh, different aspects of life, and uh, being a better teammate, being a better basketball player, and uh, getting a leadership role down, and, um, you know, just leading the guys to try to win, take one game at a time. He really has done a great job in all. He's online to graduate the end of this semester. Uh, that's the first big positive. He's made his mistakes, and yet he's grown through them and done an incredible job of becoming a better man. Oh, I've seen him change drastically. Uh, you know, Nick's is, you know, he, he's definitely a different person, uh, you know, when I first arrived, and you know, he's more mature in, you know, certain aspects. Uh, you know he's more focused uh, than what he was, and he now he knows. You know it, it's just, you know, this, you, you can never get this opportunity back. Uh, you know he's a senior this year. You know he came so fast, so he's just now he's just you know kind of a he, he's just kind of you know, realizing like you know he he's not gonna be playing you know with us no more, and you know you can only get this opportunity once. So. The final four, uh, that was the greatest experience I ever had. Um, Besides that, it was my sophomore year we played at Purdue, and uh, I got a pass from Kaitlyn Lucas, and I missed the dunk, and I hung on the rim and put the ball back in. <laughs> and uh, coach asked me, was was I? Did I think I was at a playground or at St. Cecilia or something? And I think when you look at the weight he lost and the situation he's been in in these different years, it's not easy for a college student to do do that. Uh, it, it makes me more disciplined. Um, and just being held a, a, held accountable a little bit more and now uh, it's, it's made me a better player also. Even though sometimes he's not as consistent as we all would like, I think he's been incredibly uh, uh, hard working in, in trying to improve himself in all those areas. And as far as basketball goes at the end, you take a guy who's shooting in the 20% from his free throws his freshman year and he's now shooting 80 some percent, kind of shows you how far he's come. And uh, yeah, I think some, in some ways the best basketball is ahead for Derek. No, they had to come someday and uh, came pretty quick, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, just trying to finish out the season strong. I want to be more like a, a Draymond Green kind of guy, just, you know, do something with sports and continue on to uh, live my life through sports. And we're going to be there proud as heck on graduation day and then hope that he has some future in basketball somewhere. It's 10th ranked Michigan State hosting number 22 Wisconsin. As both teams still find themselves in the hunt for the Big Ten title. We've got to get the energy level at an elite spot because we don't want to win 20 games anymore. We want to win 24 games. The 24 games just might be enough. Just might be enough for one or two or three special things. Be relentless on defense. Be relentless. Do it the entire don't give them one second off. Let's start picking it up and going for something special. It's March. 
our time. I love playing Wisconsin, you know, because I feel like time, every time we play those guys, they play hard, and you know, those guys are great sportsmen, and you can't ask for anything, anything other than that when you're playing against, you know, great opponents. And this game is underway, tip controlled by MSU. Um, I thought it was going to be a tough grinded up game, um, and it, it was. The way they play, I mean, you got to give them props. The way they play, you don't think you're going to blow them out ever just because the way they play. But, I mean, we, we were clicking on all cylinders, and we really played good defense. And you know, it's just a matter of wanting the game, you know. Uh, we just we just playing right now for Knicks and, you know, just bringing a lot of energy. You know, I was just trying to, you know, do anything I could for the team to get the win. Scoop won't go, but the putback does from Adrian Payne. Come off a three-game losing streak, and uh, you're playing Wisconsin. That doesn't leave for many late sleep or long sleeping nights. I can promise you that. If we all come out locked in and, and energetic, you know, I mean, the sky's the limit. You know, we are able to make a lot more things happen, offensively and defensively. Today, even when we messed up defensively and even offensively, when we had mistakes, we, we picked up for it with our intensity and it kind of helped us. We played with a lot of energy today, and you know, it's tough to beat us when we play with a lot of energy like that, you know, playing defense and holding teams like we did today. Trice is on the floor, uh, Payne's on the floor, Harris is on the floor, you know, uh, Appling spent a lot of time on the floor. Um, uh, you know, I thought we, we gave great effort, you know. With the ball now, Valentine. To Trice for a three ball, it's a half. He got it, he got it! And that's gonna count. We wanted to push the ball, push the ball up the floor as hard as we could, you know, try to get things early in the offense, you know, because Wisconsin is a, is a pretty good defensive team. So, you know, like I said, that was one of the game plans and we just went out there executing. Appling, aggressive, and the foul. And he gets it to Payne, drives the baseline, misses the slam. Valentine has it, puts it back up. It won't go either. We got all kinds of people down low. Ball splits out of bounds. Well, Adrian Payne got that ball on the baseline, and he called a timeout. And Tom Mizzle's giving him a big hug. Some one time I was on the ground, and it just happened to fall into my hands. So I was getting kind of lucky today. How about that effort? Back to back steals and breakaway layups for Michigan State. I think we, we took a step forward, and I guess that's the most important thing. We did a really good job. We finally transferred over from practice to the game, what coaches said we've struggled with for the, all year long. To win it that way, that's why you got to win in tournaments. You know, you got to find a way to win, and you got to find a way to compete. And the night might have been worth it for two reasons. Uh, one, of course, is the win, and two, seeing Keith smile. You know, I mean, that made my day. in on it, try to make your commitment to two parties, just two parties only, because the program is one, and the next is the other, because each one of you have your time, and there's something about senior day that, yeah, you know, maybe DJ said it best, you survived what ended up over 500 practices. Is that the stage for the tourney ahead? That's what we're playing for. We don't have control of anything else today. That's why we're not talking about anything else. But we do have control of what we do in the future. I mean, I feel like that's one of the things that's going to remain in the back of each and every guy, each back of each and every guy's mind, you know, coming in because that's what Northwest is known for. No one wants to get embarrassed in the back door and let their man score an easy basket. I just want to wear the uniforms, not because of what it looked, because of what it says on the back. And that means a lot to me. Uh, former players like Steve Smith and Mateo Cleese just said, you know, they're sparring forever, and I feel the same way. You know, regardless whether this is my last game or you know this is my last year, I'll forever be a spark. He just uh, we spread him out, and uh, he was able to make a move, and I uh, was able to finish at the rim. 
the scout for Northwestern is the worst one, and playing them is the worst one because they backdoor you all the time, and you're just like, how in the heck did this guy score on me? But they just backdoor you very good team offense um, that we have to prepare for, and hopefully we'll do well. We opened the door, we put a crack in the door for Northwestern when we had them down 8 or 10 and a chance, I think even 12, a chance to maybe move it open, and to their credit, they did the job and we did. And uh, But, you know, you're going to have to win tight games too, and I think when it really came down to it, we started getting the ball back inside and we did some things that we had to do, and I think that's going to, you know, do well for us in the, uh, in the tournament a little bit. And I... I also thought Bill did a great job. We thought for sure he was zoning. He's been zoning all the time, and he completely fooled us. And and uh, so I guess that's a little bit of coaching error, you know, that I wasn't. Uh, I mean, everything we worked on was against the one three one and two three, and he came out and manned us the whole game. We have so much. We have so much power power on the perimeter. You know, those guys had to respect that. So whenever one of us guards was able to drive, those guys. Stay with the guys that are out on the perimeter and it gave them easy easy money for the best. Definitely, they're a, a bunch of skilled guys and they all can pass the ball well, they all screen well, and they all cut hard the whole game. I mean, and that was the one thing that really kept them in the game is the way they cut and the way they run their offense. And they did a good job on defense too. Definitely. Uh, cut really hard. I mean, the scouts team did a great job all week, but I mean, it was nothing compared to how they ran the offense, and I mean, it was really uh, difficult and it caused us some problems at times. We were picked third, fourth in this league. We, I, I still say we had the toughest schedule of anybody in this league as far as the one plays, and, uh, and we were right there, you know, right there in the last day, uh, still with a chance to win the Big Ten championship, and and that's what I've preached since we won our first one. That's where I wanted the program to be. This team went through the most brutal schedule. I don't know what it's ranked now. It was one at one time last week. Uh, it, it was one of the most brutal schedules in the whole country. Last year, our schedule was ranked one in the country. So we abduct nobody. And I'm, I'm so proud of that. I, I know Mark Hollis is. I, I think our president is. We got a lot of things to feel good about. Now back at Keith, dribbles down the lane, shots way, oh, Keith Apple, he didn't lay it up, he slammed it in. I learned a lot from this kid, I really did. He's, you know, I just hope he continues to move forward now. Bone senior on this team, gets a big hug from his head coach, Tom Izzo. The great experience, uh, he's emotional. Um, but I just want to give all the credit to my teammates. This is the best team I've ever been on since since I've been here. No disrespect to any other players, but I just love being around these guys. We joke, we cry together, we laugh, we argue. It's just been the best year. The celebration of the last four years of hard work that each senior's done, as you think about it through a player's perspective, he's gone four years practicing day in and day out. And uh, from the manager perspective, you can kind of understand how hard that we as managers work for four years. I think, and I think just the past four years, all the good memories I've had over here, I mean, it's, just, it's gone by so fast. I never thought senior day would finally come. And, uh, you know, just I think just the people I've worked with and the memories I've had and all the great games I've experienced at Michigan State um, will just constantly be going through my head as I walk out there to shake Coach's hand. So I'm just going to think about the, the journey that I went through really trying to come in as a boy, leave as a man, and what this program's done for me to do that. Senior day is going to be really exciting. Um, you know, as a manager, a lot of times we're, we're behind the scenes, and uh, so it's going to be really exciting just uh, getting that recognition and getting to have all eyes on you for a second and uh, walk out with your family, so that'll be really nice. And, you know, the one thing you think about when you think Michigan State is tradition, um, and now, you know, we're, we're going to be in that tradition uh, forever, you know, even if you just look out at the Big Ten. Uh, posters, obviously, we won one last year, so we're we're memorialized into this tradition. So uh, it's definitely something special to be a part of, and I'm excited to come back. These last four years have gone by extremely fast, and that's probably the biggest thing I've been thinking about is just how fast it's gone, and uh, just the great experience I've had here, and how I've learned a lot in school. But I think most of the life lessons I've learned have been through the Michigan State basketball program. Yeah, I think we'll be uh, emotional. I was thinking about it the other day. You know, you're never going to be in a coach's or huddle anymore. 
uh, you know, it's a lot of things that a lot of things you get to do that you get to see behind the scenes that a lot of people don't get to see. So uh, I think it'll be emotional, but uh, you know, I, I think it's good that when it's emotional because you know that you know you really got something out of it. I remember my first day on campus, now looking up and. Uh, that's going to be my last game at Breslin. It's going to be pretty emotional. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it, it'll never be me, in a sense. Like, uh, I never thought about it, but now I, I am that senior, and, and I'm the only senior, so it makes it different. But, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of seniors come out of here, and uh, I'm just one, one of many. Sociology major from Detroit, Michigan, number 25, Derek Nix. Well, he's getting a standing ovation from everybody here at the Breslin Center. You know, I often said that coaches are supposed to teach players, and that's the way the world's supposed to be. The adult teaches the child, and uh, that's what you hope for. In my job, I've had a blessing that I've had some players that have probably taught me more than I taught them. With Derek Nix, you know, we went through so many things. But like Judd Heathcote said, he came in a little immature, a little heavy, a little this, a little that. He's walking out of here. Four straight tournaments, two Big Ten championships, a Big Ten tournament championship. And maybe what's most important to his mother and me, she's walking out of here in May with a degree from Michigan State University. We always say, let's not fool ourselves around here, uh, Coach. This program has given me way more than I've given the program. I really want to give all the credit to my mom and my teammates. Uh, by far, uh, this has been the best team I've been on. Um, these guys have been here for me through thick and thin. And, um, we have great leaders, Draymond. We have great players, Kalen Lucas. This is in the summers of the world, but it's probably the best team I've ever been on in my whole life, like regardless. They all have come to my rescue. Thank Hollis, thank all the coaches, thank my teammates, thank all my friends, all my family. Thank y'all. Like I said, this program has given me my whole life back, so that's all I got to say, really. You know, in the middle of the first half, I think we were up eight. And Derek said to me in a timeout, you got to help me. Because somehow through, I don't know, social media, maybe his mom, maybe somebody here, he kind of found out the score of the Michigan game. <laughs> it's funny, but it's really not, because it really kind of, uh, you know, had a little bit of an effect on him, and I think at halftime on our team, and I don't use that as an excuse, but I want everybody in this building to understand one thing. You got yourself a blue-collar coach that's never been given anything. And I don't want anything from anybody else in this state. We have a ch we have a chance to, you know, do our own thing. Last year, we didn't feel sorry for anybody else. We lost the game at home. That would have won it outright. And we earn and get what we deserve. And we worked our tail off. You should be prouder of this team than almost any team I've had because, because we went through a lot with this team. And they hung in there. And as I said, I don't ever want to get anything through the back door. I'm a bust them right through the front door kind of guy, and that's the way we are. And that's the way you are. So don't, don't feel bad, because 
Maybe a banner won't be hanging this year, but memories will. Memories will. And they'll be some of the best memories I've had. I told my team this morning, 30 straight times they showed up. We weren't always great. We had no letdowns like the other top 15 teams. We didn't get upset by anybody. We didn't, we didn't get upset by anybody, and we fought and scratched for everything we got. And just like last year, maybe we didn't accomplish exactly what we wanted to at the end, at the end of the regular season. But 31 times your team showed up. 31 now. And next weekend, our is showing up. I promise you that right now. <laughs> We're showing up. Thank <laughs> you.